Hello viewers, I got an idea of creating a plane, a working model which could be made to fly without the use of either fuel or the motors. So I worked, started working on that and uh, lastly I could do that. So here in this video I will be showing you how a working model of the plane can be made to fly without the use of fuel or the motors. For that we should have some idea about uh, how the actually commercial planes are flying, what is the principle behind. So they are using the fuel as a source of energy and that fuel is uh, used to rotate the motors very fast like fan so that the air is sucked from the front side and uh, released towards the back side with a lot of force which makes the plane run on the ground at a very high speed. Now this horizontal velocity of the plane is converted into vertical lift because of the shape of the plane, shape of the wings. So the use of the fuel and the motors is only to make it run on the ground at a high speed. So if we can do that by any method and the shape of our structure which is running on the ground very fast is such that its horizontal speed can be converted into vertical lift then we can make it fly so I got an idea of uh, making my plane run on the ground without using fuel or motors so I knew that if we could uh, give a proper shape to this object which is running on the ground at a high speed it would be able to fly because the vertical or uh, the horizontal velocity will be converted into the vertical lift towards the upside. So how I am going to create that speed without using fuel and motors. So I thought of uh, making a plane in the form of an arrow and that arrow you know we, we all know that that can be shot from the bow at a very high speed. So the work of the motors and fuel which is providing the horizontal velocity of the plane that work will be done by the bow. Bow will be giving the thrust and the plane will be shot at a very high speed on the ground it will be running with the, because there will be wheels downside. It will be running at a very high speed and the shape of that arrow will be such that it will be something like aeroplane and it will be striking the air at such high speed while running on the ground and its shape would be such that it would be having wings so it would shape would be such that its horizontal speed will be converted into upward lift so it will be flying so it is easier said said than than done so how uh, the structure which uh, i thought of uh, creating the plane i firstly thought of using this canes which are actually the stems of a grass which is abundantly produced in uh, our area which is Punjab and uh, these are uh, the qualities of this uh, stem is is cane it is very 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 lightweight and uh, stiff stiffness these two two qualities are there so it's quite stiff and it is very very lightweight light in weight and uh, in ancient times it used to be it, it it was used to make arrows which was used in uh, the warfare the arrows that was one use other use was it was used to make quill for writing they would be making uh, tip hair and dip it in the ink then write one or two letters again dip it in the ink so it was uh, used for those two purposes nowadays uh, of course uh, nobody is using arrows or the quill better instruments are available so that quill i have used to create the skeleton or we can say the frame of the aeroplane which i'll be showing you then on that frame i fitted different kinds of kinds of wings wing because did, because i could, i was not successful in the first attempt then i used one set of wings it didn't work then i used second set of wings so different wings would, would be fitted on the same frame and that frame will uh, was created by the help of these canes so i'll with the how, what sort of uh, frame i was able to able to create i will just show you 
uh, for that i will uh, give you a uh, overall view of uh, the skeleton or uh, the frame of the aeroplane which i had made the different wings i had made and the bows different two two bows i made with which that arrow like aeroplane was being shot it, it was being given the thrust so in a single view i'll firstly show you then i will explain one way so here we are here is the all the apparatus which was used in the experiment you can have a look in a single view so in the front side is the frame of the plane created with the help of canes so there are wheels downside which are taken out of uh, the toys and it's made up of canes so that uh, if i give it a push it is it can run on the ground quite efficiently so i'll show you like this so other than that we have got these three sets of wings which i had used i'll explain one by one first one you can see are the smaller ones and then i created wider wings and then the third set and these are the two bows first one uh, was smaller one so i felt that it was not giving enough speed and the power so i created the bigger bow to get more speed and power so i'll explain the wings one by one so first first, first set i had uh, suspected that after uh, they didn't give the result after these wings failed to get the lift i suspected that they were not wide enough so if, if i could create wider wings as the second set this one then uh, it might work but even that one didn't work so i created the third set so what are the differences between these three sets first one of course as they are not so wide and secondly in first and second sets they are c shaped c shaped in the sense the thickness thickness is c shaped so highest point is in the center the height is maximum in the center so that's why i call it c shape so second one was also c shape this is not actually the conventional shape so this is also c shape the highest point is in the center as you can see when both of these didn't work then i thought of going more near to the theoretical shape which is actually j shape j shape means uh will not be very much clear here so i'll show from another place another angle here you can see it is more it takes the height suddenly and here is the highest point and then there is slant back side so the highest point comes before the middle so that's why it is more like j shape so it is a highest point is here and thereafter there is slant downside so this is more near to the conventional uh, shapes which are shown in books and the papers so when the first two sets didn't work then i had to go for this j shape thickness and first two sets are c shape and uh, la later on of course i realized that this was actually not the problem area the problem area was something else and any of these wings can be used and make, make the aircraft fly uh, but uh, the more important thing is not the shape so much not about the shape of the wing it is about the angle of the wing and i, I will be explaining that thing slowly uh, as uh, we go uh, one by one of about the experiments which were done so after talking about uh, the horizontal velocity of the plane being converted into vertical lift because of the shape of the plane or the shape of the wings and uh, after showing you all the types of the wings with different shapes now let me try to explain how according to conventional theory of physics the plane gets the lift so it is explained according to bernoulli's theorem so what the bernoulli's theorem says is the if a shape of an object is such that it is upper surface is little convex 
and the lower surface is flat and it is moving at a high speed then the air strikes the leading edge and it has to move along the upper surface and it has to cross the entire surface and reach the rear side and similarly the air also goes under the lower surface and passes and then the, the air which is coming from the upper side and the air which is coming from the lower side they meet at the rear side and because both the air currents try to reach the rear end at the same time that's why and because the distance which the top current has to travel is more because of the convex shape and the distance which the lower current has to travel is less so the upper current tries to cover more distance in the same time so that's why it moves faster and this one moves slower and because it moves faster so it creates low pressure area and because this lower current is moving at a slower speed this current uh, creates high pressure area so because of that difference in pressure the wing this is the shape of the wing we can say so the wing gets the upward lift and this is just because of the difference in the pressure on the upper and lower side and that is because of the difference in the speed of the wind on the upper and lower side so this is according to the Bernoulli's theorem this is the conventional explanation uh, about how the wing especially of the plane gets the lift because the shape is such that it creates pressure difference between upper and lower surface so firstly let us have a trial with the frame of the the aircraft uh, we'll, I will show, shoot it with the bow and see how it can run on the ground and of course it will not take flight so here here is the our uh, frame of the aircraft and here is the bow with which I am going to shoot it and uh, back side you can see this is the mess created by myself okay then coming back to uh, this first trial where the skeleton of the plane will be shot with the help of bow and of course it will be running in this direction and uh, I hope it will be seen very clearly running on the ground at a high speed so here we go we we'll try to keep it horizontal there it goes quite so now this is uh, going to be the second trial and uh, I am going to shoot it with the first set of wings so let us see the result again as you can see it has run on the ground at a good speed but it has not taken the flight So here now I am going to use the third set of, uh, not the second set of wings in the third trial. So these are the wider wings. So let us see the result. So as we have already seen uh, the three trials and uh, both the C shaped uh, wings couldn't give the flight so at, uh, in this trial the fourth trial I will be using J shaped wings that is the wings with J shaped thickness and uh, of course this these didn't work uh, because here I am showing only one trial uh, once one attempt but uh, I of course done it repeatedly just to record the result I uh, will uh, be recording with the help of video so let us uh, record the result which was obtained by using J shaped wings so as we have seen even with the, these j shaped wings uh, it didn't take the flight at all and uh, at this stage i thought that uh, 
the speed and the thrust could be the problem so i thought of using heavier bow so that uh, it could get more speed so that will be done in the fifth trial that will be recorded so this fifth trial will be with heavier bow with j shaped wings so as we can see even with j shaped wings it uh, didn't improve uh, the result so at this stage i was exhausted of the ideas i had tried different bows with different wings all the permutation combinations it was not working so i had to give a break then to get some ideas or to sort out the problem area i had to refer net again because uh, i suspected that uh, the leading edge of the wing which faces the wind i was not sure about the shape of that one whether it 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 it, it was uh, it should be u shaped or it should be we can say c shape in the sense of the way a uh, convex lens is shaped that is the bottom is completely flat and the upper surface is having the curve that we may call it c shape the upper surface is having curve and bottom is completely flat so the leading edge of the wing should be uh, that kind of sort of convex c shape or it should be u shape so i had some doubt about that to get get those things clear i had to go to net and in the meanwhile what i had done was i had also tried to shoot my plane in the air directly like an arrow is shot in the air horizontally to the ground i try to find that from the ground it is not taking the lift that's fine but if i shoot it in the air whether it is going to rise a little bit at rather than going parallel to the ground so when i done that the result which i seen was very much shocking rather than increase gaining the height taking a little bit upside flight it didn't even go like a conventional arrow it didn't go parallel to the ground at all directly it nose dived uh, that was one uh, observation very strong observation i had it nose dived and directly uh, very much like uh, a parabola from bow it was shot and directly it started going down and it hit the ground very much not far away from my feet at a huge velocity at a at a very high speed so that it damaged the plane also and the wheels came off so i realized that uh, upward thrust was not being obtained at all so that's why i had to refer net again to get some idea i suspected the problem with the leading edge of the wings so i got some ideas from the one video which i seen which i'll be explaining in a while